This lesson presents several tasks specific to editing ladder logic online in RS Logic's 5000 project. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to edit ladder logic elements online and verify, accept, test, and assemble edits. Programming ladder logic online allows you to make quick programming changes without stopping the manufacturing process. Important. Use extreme caution when entering or editing code or data, forcing values, or making other changes online. Mistakes can cause unintended machine motion or loss of process control, injuring personnel and damaging equipment. Before performing procedures online, perform the following actions. Determine if changes must be made online. Verify that your company permits online entering and editing. Assess how machinery will respond to changes. Check proposed changes for accuracy. Notify all personnel of the changes. Verify that you're online to the correct controller. And verify if other users are online to the controller. After making our safety checks, we're ready to edit a rung. We can open the logic menu, select online edits, and then start pending rung edits or we can right click the rung and then select to start pending rung edits or we can double click the rung a duplicate rung is displayed notice that rung numbers after the edit are temporarily changed while the edit rung is being modified in the duplicate pair the top rung is the rung being edited the edit zone markers are lowercase i's this indicates that the rung will be inserted the bottom rung is the rung that is active in the controller. The edit zone markers are lowercase r's. This indicates that the rung will be replaced. We can enter and edit ladder logic using any combination of the following methods. We can use the single click method, the drag method, right click or insert key method, quick key shortcuts, and the ASCII editing method. Let's make some modifications to the rung. First, we'll add an XIO instruction using the drag method. We'll also assign a tag. We can browse for an existing tag, or we can type a tag name. If needed, we can even create a new tag. We'll also add a branch, drag it around the new XIO instruction, and then add another XIO instruction to the branch bottom. Finally, we'll delete the stop PB XIC instruction. That completes the modifications. Notice that the edit zone markers on the top rung change to lowercase e's to indicate that a modification had been made. Before the upper rung becomes active in the controller, we must complete the verification process. Because accepting a change online can cause dangerous situations, there are more steps to verify your rung when online. The number of steps depends on the current mode. In the remote program mode, we must perform the following actions. First, we must verify the rung, which is optional, and make any corrections. Then we must accept the edits. Let's begin. To verify a rung, we can right-click the rung and select Verify Rung. Or we can open the logic menu and then select Verify, Routine. Or to quickly access the Verify Routine option, we can use the Verify Routine button on the toolbar. Errors found in the verification process are displayed in the Results tab of the Output window. We must then correct any problems according to the errors and then verify the rung again. The edit zone markers on the edit rung change from E's to I's. This indicates the rung is no longer being edited and is to be inserted into the logic. Now we can begin using the online edit toolbar. After verifying, according to the tooltips, we can accept pending rung edits, accept pending program edits. If necessary, we can also cancel edits. Important. Accepting program edits will accept edits made in all routines within the active program. Be sure you know what all of the edits are. 
We will accept pending rung edits for the current rung only. The rung is now accepted, and the edit zone markers are removed. We've now made and activated the edits for the rung. We've made the same changes to the rung in the remote run mode. Notice that in remote run mode, the edit zone markers next to the top rung are lowercase i's. This indicates that the rung will be inserted. To complete the rung, we must perform the following actions. First, we must verify the changes, which is optional. Then we must accept the changes. Then we must test the changes. Finally, we must assemble the rungs. Now we can accept the rung using the online edit toolbar. Again, we can accept the rung by itself or on a program basis. The finalize all edits in the program button allows us to finalize online edits in one step. This reduces the amount of steps required to go from changes to running code, enables changes in the controller faster, and reduces system startup time by eliminating delays. When you click the finalize all edits in the program button, a dialog box is displayed that prompts you to confirm whether you want to finalize all edits. When you click the yes button, RS Logic's 5000 software will accept any pending edits, download the edits to the controller when online, assemble pending edits, and begin executing the assembled edits if the controller is in run mode. If a verification error occurs in any pending edit zones, none of the pending edits will be committed to the controller, and the finalized process will stop. Important. For equipment and personnel safety, the full sequence of steps, verify, accept, test, and assemble should be used, as it requires the programmers to check the steps and test them before assembling them in the controller. The finalize edits option should be reserved for changes that will not impact safety.